for you. Condo sales are on the rise, up sharply, actually. Meanwhile, the supply of luxury homes is shrinking, big luxury homes shrinking. So I'm inclined to ask the question of our property man, is the fashion these days for smaller and smaller housing units? Bob Mass is with us. He is indeed host of The Property Man on the Fox Business Network. All right, Bob. I mean, look, I think this is happening, that people want smaller and smaller homes. Is that accurate? Is that right? There is a residual, I think, sort of impact from what happened several years ago, uh, Stuart. And now that people are getting back into the market, and particularly the millennials, they want smaller because they want it to be affordable and convenient. I think people still have a sense of concern and don't want to overbuy and are consolidating and downsizing to be safe. I think there's a, the, the fashion also has something to do with those huge things that used to be built sort of five, ten years ago. And most of the rooms were not occupied. Most of them were not furnished. Yep. People lived in the kitchen and yep. the living room and watched TV there, and that's about it. That's what happened, isn't it? Yeah, and I mean, listen, luxury homes are hard to sell. I mean, you know, a lot of them are custom built, so your buyer has to be fit to your needs. Uh, there's beautiful areas out here in Las Vegas that have luxury homes, and they're not moving. They're taking them off the market. The seller's not going to give it away. They'll figure, you know what, we've afforded it this long. A lot of them are paid for. People have money. They pay for them in cash. They're just sitting there. The equity's not doing them any good, but they're just not going to give it away. So I think it's a combination because, look, if you consider where do we live in our house, kitchen, Italian, I'm sure you're the same. Your, yep. you know, your den area, yep. TV. Yep. Uh, I'm one of those guys. I'm lucky. I have a basement in my house, which is unheard of in Las Vegas. So that's the man cave. I live in about three rooms in the master bedroom. The rest of it just sits there. So it's wasted space. Yeah, I was surprised this morning when the existing home sales number came in. We're selling them at a rate of mm -hmm. 5.3 million a year. Okay, that's not bad, mm -hmm. but I was surprised it was so low because I can get a 30-year fixed-rate mortgage for about 3.9%. Historically, that's extremely yep. low. Why doesn't that low mortgage rate provoke more home sales and home buying? You know, I just I wish I had a definitive answer. I just think there is a there is a quantity of people out there that basically are looking at it and making a determination, particularly when you look at the millennials, they don't want these long term, you know, contracts of 30, 40 years. I just think there's still is a certain amount of distrust with what's going to happen with the housing market. I'll tell you, you know, what like it in is, Vegas, Bob, the inventory. Hold on a second, Bob. I'll tell mm -hmm. you the problem here. Yep. It's paperwork okay. to get a mortgage. The, the Dodd-Frank rules, as it comes down on small community banks and other lenders, it's horrendous. Getting a mortgage is, is a nightmare of paperwork, and I think it puts a lot of people off. Am I right? Getting, getting a refinance is a lot of paperwork. I know a lot of people that even want to get refinanced, and it's like a sequel to Beowulf to get these documents filled out and reading them and having somebody explain it to you. So I, th I, think, it, I think that's part of it. But I still think there is a concern as to commitment and long term and what's going to happen with the housing market. Now, for Vegas, as I said earlier, we don't have a lot of inventory. Stuart, let me tell you something. A house between 200 and 350 in Vegas, particularly a single story, if it's appraised at 250, it's selling at 300. It's a bidding war. A lot of investors from California. So the market is sort of, it's not bad. The market's good. Uh, builders want to build more. But bottom line is I still think there's a, a little bit of anxiety out there. If we got 4% growth, I mean, we get a tax cut and we get 4% growth yep. by the end of next year, does the housing market improve significantly? I think so. And I think that a lot of, look, for the people that, you know, we all talk to, if we, if tax reform could come back, and get some capital gains reduced, you're going to see the real estate industry in this country explode because a lot of people are holding on to their properties, investors and otherwise, to see what happens with this tax reform. Mm. This tax reform will ignite the real estate industry in this country like we've never seen, particularly if we get some capital gains taken down. Uh, we like to hear that, Bob Massey. And Bob